Hi guys, welcome back to Wong Chemistry channel. For today's video, it's the part 4 video of your 6.3 Li Chatelier principle. This video is going to be a short video because we are going to discuss the effect of catalyst in your Li Chatelier principle. Okay? So, what is actually the function of catalyst in a reversible reaction? Knowing that your reversible reaction having a forward and reverse reaction. Okay? And catalyst will actually increase the rate of the forward and the backward reaction. So when you are having a catalyst in your reaction, it will not only increase the forward reaction, it will also increase the rate of the backward reaction at the same time. Okay? Knowing that, that is my forward reaction and also vice versa of it is my backward or the reverse reaction. So when you have catalyst is added into your reaction, the catalyst will not only increase the forward reaction, but it will also increase the backward reaction. Both way, the forward reaction and the backward reaction both will go faster because we are increasing the rate of reaction. So when we say we're increasing the rate of reaction, means that your reaction right now is going faster. Okay? And since both the forward and the backward reaction are both going faster, therefore, addition of catalyst into your reaction will not change the equilibrium position. Your equilibrium position will remain unchanged and constant. So, the equilibrium position will remain unchanged. But what will change over here is your reaction will achieve equilibrium faster. Okay, the only thing that will change is your reaction will achieve the equilibrium faster. If without catalyst, let's say, if without catalyst, you will probably need uh, 60 minutes for the reaction to reach equilibrium. But if with catalyst, your reaction maybe take about 5 minutes to reach equilibrium. So that is the function of catalyst. But your equilibrium position, your KC, KP, everything will remain the same you only shorten the time to reach the equilibrium. You will still reach the same equilibrium, okay? Other than increasing the rate of the forward and the backward reaction, catalyst will also provide an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. Let's see. So what is actually activation energy? Activation energy is the minimum energy needed for the reactant change to the product. So activation energy is the minimum energy that your reactor need to change to product. Okay, let's look at a diagram. This is your energy profile diagram. In this energy profile diagram, I want you to focus on one thing. The activation energy without catalyst and also the activation energy with the catalyst. All right. And before we look at your activation energy with catalyst or without catalyst, Let's look at the reactant and product. Do you realize that your reactant starting point is still the same? And your product ending point, all right, the destination of the product is still the same. So it doesn't matter you are having catalyst or you're not having catalyst, the product and reactant will not change. The only thing that change is the time you need from the reactant to become product. Without the catalyst, you need longer time to reach, okay? But if you're having the catalyst, then you will need shorter time. But the destination or your starting point is still the same. You are still changing from your reactant, the same reactant, to the same product. Okay? See that? So bear that in mind, catalyst will not change the reactant and product. Catalyst will only change the time needed from your reactant to become product. Okay? Let's focus to the one without catalyst. So if I don't have catalyst, my reactant over here need to go all the way up until this point. All right. So you need to go all the way this high. Then only your reactant can drop and become the product. Can you see that? So the energy that you need for your reactant to become the product is this high. Your reactant need to move this much. Your reactant need to climb this high. Then only it can become product without the catalyst, okay? But if with catalyst, what happened is I will still start at the same point. My reactant is still sitting at the same point, but I only need to go up to here only. 
when I reach here, then I will become product, the same product, by the way. So when your reaction having a catalyst over here, your reactant need to only go this much. Your reactant need to only climb this high. Then all your reactant will become product. So can you see the difference of the energy that you need? So when you have the presence of catalyst in your reaction, you can see that the only energy that I need is from your reactant to the pig. This is the amount of energy I need when you have a catalyst. The energy that you need is much, much lesser than the energy you need when you don't have a catalyst. And that is what we mean by providing an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. So this is my alternative pathway. Can you see that? This is my alternative pathway when I have a catalyst in my reaction. Okay, and this alternative pathway is obviously much, much lower energy than the one without catalyst. All right. And that is the reason why you always say your catalyst will speed up your reaction. So what it mean by you speed up the reaction? This is the reason why your reaction is speed up when you have a catalyst. Because the catalyst will provide you an alternative pathway that need a lower activation energy. And when it only need a much lower activation energy, then your reaction will definitely achieve equilibrium faster. So again, this proven that the presence of catalyst in your reaction, your reaction will then achieve the equilibrium much faster. So that is how catalyst again will cause your reaction to achieve equilibrium faster. But looking at the reactant and the product over here, the amount of reactant and the amount of product will still remain the same. Therefore, the equilibrium position will still remain unchanged. Your KCKP will still remain unchanged. The only thing is you will achieve the equilibrium much faster. But the entire equilibrium position will be the same. If the equilibrium position is over here, you will reach the same equilibrium position. But you will reach this place much faster. That's it. Okay? That is the function of catalyst. So as a conclusion, when the catalyst is added, the equilibrium position will remain unchanged, but your reaction will reach equilibrium much, much faster. Okay, that is the function of catalyst. And why we can reach the equilibrium much faster? Simple, because the rate of the forward reaction and the rate of the reverse reaction both increase, all right? Both of them increase. Another reason is because your catalyst will provide an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. And both of this is the reason why your reaction will achieve the equilibrium much faster when your catalyst is added. But bear that in mind, equilibrium position remain unchanged. Please remember this, okay? So just very quickly do one example. Consider the following reaction in a 2 liter container which will reach equilibrium at 298 Kelvin. By using the Lee Chatelier principle, state the shift in equilibrium position of the reaction if catalyst is added into the system. So the question is, will catalyst change the equilibrium position? No, we agree on just now catalyst will not change the equilibrium position. Therefore, the equilibrium position remain unchanged. Okay, so if catalyst is added and your equilibrium position remains unchanged, then what is the function of catalyst? Simple, catalyst will only ensure your reaction achieve equilibrium faster. Okay, so remember, catalyst will not change the equilibrium position. The equilibrium position will remain unchanged even though catalyst is added. But catalyst can help the reaction or the system to achieve equilibrium faster by providing an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. Simple? Easy. So I hope this video able to help you to understand the effect of catalyst in Lee Chatelier principle. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.
Pocket.com. 